Hello, you guys. My name is Aaron Alexander. I'm here live at the, uh, the Broke Theater. We just saw Venom, and it was it was an yeah, experience, to say the uh, least. Uh, very fun movie. Tom Hardy's awesome in it. Uh, you're watching the Venom vlog. Let's see. And have a great day, y'all. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to an episode of Spitting Venom, aka The Venom Vlog, and I am here with... James. James, all right, and James is in line with me. We're like number four and five yeah. in line for Venom. And uh, I decided to come down to the screening tonight. I wasn't going to originally, but James, who I just met just 10 seconds ago, talked me into it. Yeah. <laughs> Telepathically, um, hours ago. How'd yeah, you yeah. do that, James? Uh, you know, I just made my nerddom, my nerd sweatiness, I think a little bit of it oozed onto you. Yeah, and uh, we were like, you know, we have to see this movie. You channeled the John Shep sweaty, and <laughs> yeah, it, it yeah. traveled all the way to Glendale. <laughs> um, and uh, so, and yeah, I, when I came here, the first thing I did was talk to you because you have a comic book in your hand. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. This is a uh, Venom uh, Lethal Protector. I'm told that it's a uh, the sequel to the original. Right. Um, and I was, you know, I stopped at the Barnes and Noble on my way here. I wanted to make sure I uh, had some reading to do on my while I wait in line. Nice. And how, how far are you in? Like one chapter or so? Uh, I would say like one or two chapters in. Um, how are you liking it? It's good. I mean, the visuals are great. I love uh, the the what how Venom looks in it. It looks great. Awesome. Yeah, and I feel bad because I, I showed up with Planet of the Symbiotes, which the movie's also based off of. And he was like, oh, the movie's based off this. And I was like, oh, I hate to tell you this, but that's the sequel. But still, it's a good one. And, yeah, it, and, yeah. It, and there may be a movie based off it if Sony makes a Craven movie. Yeah, yeah. So... It's you, you could still be spoiling a movie for yourself, after yeah. all. <laughs> you shared uh, some great wisdom with me. And uh, yeah, I try. Well, I, what is um, what are you most excited about for this movie? Uh, I want to say just Venom being portrayed like with care. I guess I want to say the last time we saw him on screen, it, it kind of seemed like they just shoehorned him in, and uh, the people making the movie didn't even want him in, and it was uh. You know, I, I think right now this is like creatively the best Venom we're going to see uh, for a while, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I hope we both enjoy the movie, man. Maybe we'll yeah, yeah. talk again after. Yeah, absolutely. All right, thanks, James. Yeah, thank you. You say it. So not on three, right? I know you. Yeah, I was just pointing at empty chair. Um, okay, so I'll say one, two, three, and we'll say we are Venom, right? Okay. Everyone, cool, good. Everybody can hear me. Sorry, people behind me. I, I you know, it's just the one. You get it. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. So on the count of three. One, two, three. We are Venom. I have with me right now the director of Venom, Ruben Fletcher, in the flesh. Ladies and gentlemen, Ruben Fletcher. Whoa. Whoa. He directed this. I'm very excited that you guys are all here. You guys are the first ever audience to see this film in a Ruben Fletcher. movie for you guys to see so we couldn't be more excited for you to see it um i wanted to uh see you know it was it was really hard work getting you here lots of visual effects lots of action so many things that went into the making of it um before we start the show if anyone has any questions happy to answer them um let me know i mean your next movie yes zombie land 2 we're about to start oh, no. Zombies. Yeah, I mean, call it here. DG13 versus R. We get that question a lot. And uh, for me, I wanted to make a movie that was super intense, violent, 
aggressive, that was true to the comics, was true to the spirit of the character that we all love from the comics. But I also want to make a movie that everybody could see because, uh, like, uh, ah, disappointment. But uh, I, I think, honestly, uh, Venom's a character that, you know, as a kid growing up, I loved when I was really young. And I think that a lot of people love Venom from an early age, and so I don't want to exclude anybody from the film. Uh, but I, I hope that when you watch the movie, you'll see that we really didn't pull any punches and that we took it as far as we could. Dark Knight was always the reference for this film. And if I figure if you can put a pen through a dude's forehead, then you can bite some heads off or do whatever you want. Yeah. Anybody else? My friend here. Hi. Um, I got to ask what your favorite quality about Eddie Brock is that really drew you to this movie. Eddie Brock's a really complex character, as we all know from the comics. And so for me, getting to work with Tom Hardy was like a dream come true because he brings so much complexity to every role he plays. And especially, uh, you know, Eddie Brock's an angry, uh, bitter person who harbors a lot of rage. And I think that Tom brings a darkness and a menace to everything he plays, but he's just so entertaining and so watchable at the same time. So it's a really a testament to Tom's talent that uh, that he could bring Eddie Brock to life on a real screen. Anyone else? Up top. Uh, where do you guys shoot the movie? Well, the movie takes place in San Francisco, but uh, you'll be surprised to find that the bulk of it was shot in Atlanta, uh, Georgia, but we did shoot a lot of it in San Francisco as well, so it's a combination of the two, thanks to a little movie magic. So guys, we're about to start the show, but before we do, I wanted to introduce my friend who came to say hello. Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Cool. Yeah. yeah. Hey, sit next to me. Immediate, immediate feedback. I got your seat right here. All right. I'll sit next to you. Yes. Yeah. Any problems you may or may not have, you need to come and address me personally. Immediately after. And then what we'll do is we'll just go back to the studio and we'll start writing the sequel exactly how you want it. Okay. But do come to me and make sure that you make a personal appearance and tell me exactly what you want doing. I hope you enjoy it. I've had a lot of fun doing it and I love this character. I really love him. And I want to play him a lot and I want to do a lot of different things with him. Okay, so what you're about to experience is like our best effort and mine as well coming from like, literally my son is 10 and, and for him, it was a big deal for me to do something for him, do you know what I mean, that I could do with my son and he loves Venom and he had a lot of issues <laughs> and he's 10. And so, you know, he was like a proper drill instructor and, he, and he's giving me like, my feedback. But also I want your feedback because I, I intend to, to push this as hard as I can and further, do you know what I mean? But bear in mind, my port of entrance was through a 10 year old's mind and vision and the love that he has for the character and the fact that I also grew up and I, and I loved like, things like Ghostbusters when I was a kid and I remember what it was like to enjoy comic books when I started like, or, or cartoons and things and like, and how I still have that ability to want to play as a grown-up, okay? So this is a, a mixed bag of, of us playing in the wheelhouse and the sandbox, which is very precious to you. And it's also very precious to me. And I just want to, I want to start here and move forward. So have an open mind. And then I'm coming to sit next to you. Oh my and I'm going to shut up so you can enjoy the film. But I, I really love it. And I hope you do too. But you know, everybody's different. All right, let's go. Thank you. What did you think of Venom, the movie? I thought it was a 
great movie. Yeah? What, what's your, what was your favorite part without spoiling too much? Um, pretty much the end. Yeah, the ending was really good, right? Yep. Yeah? And did you like uh, Tom? Did he make a good Venom? Yep. Yeah, he was good, huh? <laughs> awesome. All right, you guys tell me what you thought of the Venom movie. It's awesome. It's everything I hoped you'd see. Yeah, I think it was probably one of the best movies I've seen in a while. Yeah? By far, yeah. And what was, without spoiling too much, what was some of your favorite stuff in the movie? Uh, the relationship between Eddie and Venom is really good. Um, yeah. The action, fantastic. All right. Uh, the fight scenes, and I think just like how Venom tells Eddie, you're the reason. Yeah. Uh, okay, you like the sentimental stuff. Yeah. Yep. And <laughs> the funny stuff. Yeah, everything. The comedy in there. All, 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 the, all the interactions with them were just like making the track up to the best of Awesome. Yep. Sweet. And uh, what would you rate the movie? 10 out of 10. I give it a good 9 out of 10. Alright, so everyone should definitely go see this. Yeah. Yes, for sure, yeah. for sure. Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Juan of Diaz here. Um, I have the amazing pleasure of sitting next to Tom. Uh, we talked fairly a fair amount. Like, me and him were just like shooting the shit. And it's super funny because he's actually, some of the stunt people he's actually fighting are people who I've actually met and had the pleasure of like discussing the world of stunts as well because I'm an upcoming actor and an upcoming stunt performer. Like I love martial arts and I love it all. Uh, I've had the pleasure in like working with some amazing performers and training with such amazing people. I was telling Tom like he's truly one of my idols growing up as an actor. Like I've loved all of his movies from Legend. Like, he got to play himself in two different ways. Like it was phenomenal getting to play two different characters. And then from Lawless, loved him in that. Like all around an amazing actor. Getting to sit next to him, like kind of. He was literally like, yeah, "I'm gonna sit next to you," and I was like, "Oh my god!" Like I usually don't freak out for stuff, but like, like Tom Hardy just like sat next to you. I'm not gonna lie. Like this was this was freaking insane. Like the movie is so good, guys. Um, watch it. Comes out this Friday, October 5th. I'm gonna see this movie again. And this, like, I'm gonna watch it several, several times. And I was telling that to Tom, and he was like, "Yeah, man, you should go in there." And I'm like, "Yeah." And it's gonna be super amazing. If you guys want to follow my journey, I'm hopefully gonna looking for the opportunity to actually play Jason Momoa's psychic Aqualad. My my handle is Juan underscore Aqualad on Instagram, Twitter. Uh, you can follow, you can like my page on Juan of Diaz on Facebook. Hit me up. Uh, I'd love for you guys to see my journey, and hopefully, and I actually have a short film coming out called Fair Play that shows me how I would look like as the character Aqualad with the uh, tattoos and everything. Look that up. It's going to be super insane, guys. I can't wait for you all to see it. But go see Venom. Holy crap. Oh, hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. We're going to grab a beer? We're going to grab a beer? I got to go grab. I'm just kidding. I, I hope that was the thing. But go see the movie, everybody. Follow this guy's page. I'm going to check this guy's page out. Um, see you guys later. Watch the movie Venom. We are Venom. Let's go. So that was my evening tonight. I had such a blast. Everyone that I talked to that was there, all the fans, Aaron for doing the intro to this episode, thank you all so much. Uh, but if you guys want to know what I think of the movie, now that you've heard a couple other people tell you what they thought, I will give you my initial reactions in the next episode. So make sure you stay tuned for that because I also have one more surprise for you guys and uh, you can't miss it, especially right when you hit play. You'll know what I'm talking about. So I'll see you guys over there. Thanks so much for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.